Hi there. My husband and I are going to go for a little um, date day. We're going to go for a little drive and I thought I'd take you along with us. I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you my stitching or my uh, crochet that I brought. You're familiar with it by now if you've been watching my Flossmas, but this is how far I have gotten since the last time I showed this piece. So I'm doing really well. I love this turquoise. Turquoise and the blues. I like the yellows and stuff too, but this to me is a bit more, I don't know, meh. <laughs> it's okay, but I really like these richer colors. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, and I'll be working on for our drive. We're going to go maybe go out to a restaurant and then we are going to go for a walk with the dogs along a boardwalk is the plan. As long as weather, dogs and vehicle and everything cooperate. So we'll chat with you soon.
Hi everybody and welcome to my floss tube channel. My name is Patty. I am coming to you from the extreme east coast of Canada on the island of Newfoundland in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador at almost the most easterly point in North America. I wanted to say hi. <laughs> I have, you can't see her, but I have a um, one-year-old border collie named Freya. She's our new dog. And uh, she's decided that it's time to play. Because if I'm here and I'm not working, then I should be playing. And uh, so she keeps, I don't know if she's going to hit the tripod or not. So I apologize if there's a little bit of an earthquake. She's trying to, desperately to uh, throw a toy at me and get me to throw it for her. Which I don't usually do in the house because it's a bit dangerous. Uh, in terms of me beating something up. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome. Um, I am a multi-craftual person, uh, do a lot of mainly, well not mainly, I do a lot of different things. Right now I'm focusing on cross stitch and some crochet, which I'll show both of which today. Um, and as you can see, we're kind of at the process of switching over from Christmas decorations over to winter decorations. I think I'm going to leave these fairy lights up and I'll, I might show you how I'm going to change that up, um, over the next few weeks. And Frey, she's just sitting there staring at me like, please, please. If she could will me, <laughs> if she could control my mind, I would now be throwing things for her. So I am still recovering from a cough. Um, I am getting better though. So it turns out that it's uh, viral and not, um, I don't require antibiotics for it, which is great. Time will heal. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put, if I haven't already, um, I will be or have <laughs> put some video in of a walk that we took over the weekend. Um, my husband and I took a date day and we went out to an area about an hour and a half away from where we live um, in a place called Western Bay uh, in Newfoundland. And we decided that we would um, go for a hike, bring the dogs, go for a little hike, explore the area a little bit. So that was fun. Uh, kind of an overcast day, but this, it was a beautiful hike. Um, yeah, trying to think what uh, updates since Flossmas. Uh, dyeing some fabric for Brina Needle. Stitch North is coming. Uh, excited about that. And if you don't know what Stitch North is, it's a cross stitch conference, the Canadian cross stitch conference put off by Caroline at Off the Grid Needle Arts and Evertote. And uh, the other thing that's coming is I had ordered from Heather um, Evertote. Um, it took over the Hearthside Craftworks uh, cross-stitch stand business. I'm going to get the words out. Now I have a cat who's going to rub against the tripod. Um, anyway, I had uh, I have a Hearthside Craftworks lap frame that I had ordered a few years ago and use. Um, but I'm getting a Mach 2 stand, floor stand, and it should be here over the next week, two weeks or so. Uh, always nebulous in terms of how the mail service is going to go between Canada Post routine here in Ontario. But I'm really, really looking forward to that. So I'll make sure I do an unboxing video and such when that comes. Right now, I'm going to show you a little bit of cross stitch and a little bit of crochet. I have decided, I don't know what I've decided. I've, I've made all kinds of plans for 2023 in terms of projects. Um, I want to get more designs put out. I want to get um, more, I want to get a lot of my, I have a lot, a lot. Like when I say a lot, I'm talking probably 50 whips, um, which freaks me out a little bit. But what I've noticed about some of the lovely floss tube channels I've been watching is that there's some people that are really good about getting things finished. And at the end of the year, they have finished projects. And I want to have more finished projects. And I think the the only way of doing that is for me to be a more monogamous stitcher. So right now we're going to say that I'm going to be half monogamous. I never thought you'd hear me say the word monogamous and cross stitch in the same sentence. I think half monog mon monogamous and half new start. But right now I've really been, oh, Angel the cat is just pressing and pressing against this lovely tripod that I put here for her to scratch herself on. Um, I am continuing to work on, as I have been, uh, over Flossmas and such, on the Miss Margaret Ann Rollo chart. So this is available through Evertote. It is designed by just stitching along. It's a beautiful, beautiful chart. And I am, instead of putting Margaret Ann Rollo here, I'm putting Merry Merry Christmas. There's an option to do that with the chart. And I also plan 
I'm using the same colors to do those two ornaments, the pillow and the ornament as well is my also. So when I have this finished, I like I consider these two pieces as part of this finish. So I am doing stitching this on 16 count hot chocolate, which is a uh, Brenna needle. Uh, speaking of needles, I'm wondering where mine is. Where'd my needle go? Oh, there it is. Good. I was a bit afraid I lost my needle. Okay. So this is a 16 count hot chocolate Brenna needle fabric. This is, uh, that light behind is probably not the best, is it? Let's try this. So you can see it a bit better. And I'm also using Brenna Needle Floss. Brenna Needle is my, so I have a cross stitch design company um, called Four Boys and an NL Girl, NL standing for Newfoundland and Labrador Girl. And this is um, another business that I'm the fabric dyer for called Brenna Needle, which is also based here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And I work with my lovely business partner, Cheryl. Cheryl is the brilliant designer uh, dyer behind these beautiful, beautiful flosses and the uh, fabric is my own. So this is 16 count Ada in the colorway hot chocolate. There is some available on the website if you're interested in that. And this year we also, Brenna Needle made the investment of a serger. So I always finished the sides of the fabric with a zigzag stitch because that's all I had with my sewing machine. But now we um, will be, I'll be able to serge all the lovely fabrics that we're dying up, which is awesome. It is quite the thrill. I feel very, very fortunate to have uh, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful serger that I've been working with. And she's back. And do you see, and see if I can turn this a little bit, show you Angel. There's Angel. Angel's giving us the butt view, the back view. So next I'm going to move to my crocheting project. Um, again, this is when I've been working on through Flossmas and into now January. Um, I had to, it's gotten a bit bigger, so I've had to move it to, this is a lovely, lovely bag that one of my knitwit friends made for us in our advent calendar this year. It's a little bit bigger. Sorry, a little bit of a coughing fit there. Anyway, it's a little bit bigger than the one that I was using by Amelia, and uh, which is, is, I mean, that's great. It means that my project is growing. I may have put a little update on this one in the video from the hike as well. I can't remember. Anyway, right now I am still... I'm using my yarn ball, one of which is called Falling Leaves. It's by Windswept Fiber, which is a Newfoundland and Labrador hand dyer. And these are all fingering or sock weight yarns. This one is a Magic Loop yarn ball. It's going to be in a variety of colors right now. You can see, actually, I happened, great spot to stop in my crocheting because I happened, I, most of what I Magic Looped, I did not uh, keep the band, but this one is from Green Lambkin Yarn, um, hand dyed from the heart of Derbyshire. This is from the UK, and this year, oh, sorry, <laughs> I was too busy reading, not paying attention to what I was showing off. Um, this was part a mini skein that came with a um, a little treat box that I treated myself to. Now. I've just realized that she may be chewing on a thread. Oops. Just move that out of the way. Yes. Cross stitching bags serve a practical purpose to keep cats from chewing on your thread. <laughs> Angel here is like a goat. She will chew on and eat anything, won't you? And yeah, she says, I absolutely will. And I'm so beautiful and I know it. And I love to get pets <laughs> because I'm talking to Angel, Miss Chellis, who's Freya, is dropping more toys. I'm sure you can hear them. Anyway, <laughs> um, sorry, I, I got distracted. The So for, I um, got a little treat box from So Ray Me on Etsy. And uh, there was a, a bag in it. Actually, the bag is right here. There was a small project bag in it. That green lambkins yarn with the lovely, lovely sparkle, uh, some candles and some tea. I think that may have been a chocolate as well. So that was really, really sweet. That was a little treat that I gave to myself just before Christmas. I didn't open it until Christmas Day though, so I didn't really know what it looked like. Okay, here is my 
progress so far. It's turning out, I think, quite nicely. And I am going to put a border right across this. And you probably, yes, you saw it, but I didn't. I now need to, I haven't moved this since I showed you the other day. So I've only gotten, I think, I don't even know if I have another row. I haven't uh, stitched a whole lot this weekend. So I need to move this up so that you can see some more progress the next time I show you. It's a nice, this is gonna be a nice, heavy, not only heavyweight, but it's gonna be a nice, yeah, a nice heavyweight, soft, soft um, throw for us here. And it's not meant, it's meant to be throw size. It's not gonna be a uh, double or twin size. Not quite sure what Freya is being distracted about. She's running around over there. And now I've got caught in my yarn. Love that. Love that with a drawstring. Um, that's about it for me today. I just wanted to stop in and say hello and um, welcome to January 2023. And I hope to be doing videos. Uh, I always say, every year I say I'm gonna do them more often. I have plans, we'll see how I go. I also have a crazy border collie. Blue is still fine, he's here, he's just sleeping. He had a short morning walk this morning and he's been in and out a couple times, but he's, uh, he's, very, he's 15 or 16, so he's very much a sleepy boy, unlike the one-year-old border collie. And one of my friends, I am, had asked actually about Freya. She remembers our original Border Collie, Para. So I'll tell you a little bit about Freya next time we get together. So that, oh, <laughs> see, she's hitting the tripod. I'll just tell you a little bit about her story and uh, how she came to be living at our house. So um, without further ado, goodbye, take care. I hope you get some time to pursue some crafty goodness that makes you happy this week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.